also just wanted to come on video here today um, to connect and share more about the essence of ceremony and kind of uh, the deeper why and I think it's always important whenever we create something or initiate something in life that we continue to connect with our why um, because it's easy to get lost with all the to do's or distractions or things going on and I think for me going out in nature is always me returning to my center and returning to the essence and for me, the essence of ceremony is really to come together. And um, I think now, and especially what I've seen more kind of Western spirituality, there's a lot of emphasis on um, specific medicines or specific practices. But what I've overall seen that's actually most powerful and really uplifts the heart. And I believe we come together in ceremony to lighten our hearts and because uh, through the challenges in life when we all face our own challenges some of us more than others um, and also collectively and globally we are you know facing a lot of challenges right now and it can make the heart heavy it can create a lot of stress and it can weigh us down so I believe the essence of coming together in ceremony is first to come as we are so I think uh, in modern life, a lot of kind of social gatherings uh, sometimes can put on a certain pressure, a certain social pressure that we have to be a certain way or we have to come um, with the perfect introduction of what we do and where we are at in life or um, it can put this pressure that we need to be very happy or joyful or social and outgoing even when we don't naturally feel like that in the moment and I believe when we set a safe container in ceremony so we kind of consciously enter that space together with shared values and agreements um, uh, containers created where we can really show up and come as we are and we can share what feels real and alive in the moment um, and that naturally has a healing effect because then we're seen a witness for who we are and what we're experiencing in the moment and we don't have to wear these masks so that when we do connect then in that moment it's real and i've believed that kind of authentic connection and feeling seen and connecting in a real way it naturally heals so healing doesn't always have to be, um, and I do have a background more in the trauma therapy, and I've seen it a lot that people think, oh, healing always have to be hard, or we always have to move through something heavy in order kind of to come out on the other side. And it doesn't have to be the case at all. Uh, the truth is like sometimes deeper emotions do come up, but when that's happening in a way that is safe and where we're able to move through that with gentleness and with softness it actually relaxes our nervous system instead of activates it uh, which sometimes can happen in them we actually have more stress in our life or more kind of pressure on our system and what I always intend to do is to create spaces where our body is allowed to soften and we're able to move through gentle processes. And for me, that's more the feminine way. So when we consistently come back to a state of connection and a state of well-being, remembering it's safe, it's safe to be who we are, because often it can feel unsafe to be ourselves because we can fear rejection, or lots of other things, loneliness as a result of that. And I believe in our essence, uh, we all want to be seen and accepted actually for who we are. And that's an incredibly healing experience. Um, so, and I believe that's something we cannot create alone. It's something we need to co-create. And I believe that's the beauty of ceremony. It reminds us of our interconnectivity and that we're not separate, that everything we do uh, affects another and that our our words um, and what we do and what we create it, it does have power and influence and it's very easy to think 
in the world we live in when there's a lot of fear that we are completely powerless or no matter what we do kind of like it doesn't matter kind of a little bit this apathy or even this nihilism can occur uh, which can cause like depression and anxiety only I believe that's why it's so important to gather uh, consistently in a ritualistic way as our ancestors and human beings have done for thousands of years across culturally and that well, is what makes it so powerful so that's why I would love to gather again uh, during the spring equinox and also many more uh, moments and dates if you're not able to make it and if you don't live in or near Den Haag um, and you're like oh I actually would have wanted to be there uh, soon I'll also be um, hosting an online uh, breathwork ceremony again and breathwork I find really beautiful in also um, an online container it can still be very powerful so yeah that's coming up too so stay tuned for that and um, if you want to join the upcoming cacao ceremony you're more than welcome and I would love to see you there um, if you have a chance today go out in nature and connect because nature is also a um, very powerful way so we can remember our interconnected nature.